Okay, guys, welcome to Katie Lounge, a new episode. Uh, we have uh, Thin Edge Labs with us today. I'm very excited. Uh, I don't think any a lot of people have seen uh, this team together so far, so I'm happy to have them uh, on the show. Uh, just a, a, a quick note, I'm sorry for my video quality. I, I have a new setup. It's not perfect yet, so uh, it's not going to be as good as usual, but uh, let's move on from that. Uh, thank you guys for joining. Um, uh, we have Floppy Roll. And Radu, I think most people on Karina community are familiar with Floppy. Uh, you are very active and <laughs> and on the on the Karina chat. Uh, but yeah. maybe maybe you you can start by introducing yourselves uh, for the people who don't know you uh, and and giving a little a little bit of a background from 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 you. All right. Well, I'll take it then first. I'm a I'm a floor, also known as Floppy in the chat. I'm turning 38 in a couple of days, uh, married, two kids, live in the Netherlands. Uh, I've been an entrepreneur all my life, pretty much. And uh, I've been in Kadena for almost three years now. So that's that's a really quick summary of uh, of my history. Okay, Raul, Radu. do you want to uh, follow up? <laughs> yeah, uh, we'll go ahead. Okay. Uh, I'm Raul. Uh, I'm from Romania, uh, 36 years old. Uh, I'm kind of new to the crypto, so that was a fun ride uh, joining uh, Teenage Labs, and we're gonna talk about uh, that later. Okay, cool. But uh, what what is kind of your background? Uh, I'm uh, the UI designer, uh, and I'm gonna take care of uh, all the designs on Teenage Labs and probably marketing and so on. Okay, nice, nice to know. Radu? Yeah, thanks for having us, first of all. Uh, it's great to be in this call here. Um, my background is in engineering. Um, um, I, I, I've, been in, I've been involved in crypto since, I would say, 2019. Um, I was just watching the 2017, 2018, um, cycle a bit from the sidelines and uh, a friend of mine just kind of like grabbed me in in um, early 2020 I would say that's when I also found out about what Cadena um, and yeah since then uh, since then I've been part of the community and um, um, at the beginning of last year I became a mid of last year um, decided to actually build something <laughs> so yeah okay, that's nice. where we are today Okay, very cool. Thanks for, for, for letting us know about, about yourselves. Now, let's talk about the good stuff. Thin Edge Labs. What, it is, what is it? Uh, how, did, how did you guys come up with it? And what's kind of your vision for it? Yeah, so um, I started in, I think, 2020 in Kadena uh, when I got in. And one of the things I saw immediately was uh the ex the experience was was basically terrible the 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 technology side of things was amazing and and it made me go all in immediately but the experience was like yeah we need we need something better to to get like a lot of people in but i wasn't feeling inclined to do it i uh had my own engineering company and uh i i, I was pretty busy with that but I had it always in the back of my mind that, that there would need to be some improvement, but I always expected there would come improvement in time as well. I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm really early. There will be like great developers that, that will continue this ride. And then uh, I think <clears throat> when when Kedex started and XWallet started, I like, okay, this is good improvement, but it wasn't really what we're, uh, what I was expecting or what, what I think was needed to, to get like Kadena to the next level. So about a year ago, I started building a wallet myself. Didn't have the motivation really to keep it going by myself. And uh, in October, things change when Cadena price change. And I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to retire. It's fine. So <laughs> <laughs> I stopped everything. And then in January last year, I was like, yeah, I really want to do something because no one else is doing anything. As, as far as I know of, and I, I, I got some bases uh, laid out. And then in April, I met with Radu. We already knew each other from, from like a, a Kadena related chat group. And we had some technical discussions over time uh, as well. And we met, he was building some NFT related stuff. 
he's like, hey, listen, man, I'm, I'm building some NFT related stuff because I really feel like we need we need to show what Marmalade is capable of and, and no one is doing it. And I'm like, yeah, cool, I'll join. <laughs> but we immediately also said, well, uh, this has to be like sustainable, sustainable thing. I mean, I don't need it, but we can't just build something for fun. And then and when we're sick of it or whatever, walk out and like, okay, this is it. You you take care of it. Nobody's going to support it anymore. So we said, okay, let, let's take a serious approach. Let's build a business out of it. So it's, it's becoming sustainable. There's a future. Users can actually expect that we're going to support it for a really long time. And so we started building an NFT marketplace. We quickly came to the conclusion we needed a wallet. I had a, a, part, a partially wallet laying around. So yeah, we basically pulled that in and, and then we needed design. So we got Raul in and he, he pretty much blew me away in design wise. So uh, nice. uh, that that basically made us a team and uh, we started 10 Edge Labs and now uh, we're here to continue and, and make like real progress within Cadena and, and show what what's actually possible within Cadena without making it look complicated. Okay, nice. Um, and are you guys the whole team or is there anyone else for, for, for the team? Yeah, it's just us. Three of us, okay. at least for now, yeah. Good, good. Three of us, okay. the driving force behind. Sometimes, sometimes <laughs> less is more, you know? I, I have, I have yeah, absolutely faith in that. Uh, sometimes a big team uh, just complicates things. Uh, and this way you can focus on 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 driving the uh the products really fast and really really easily yeah, um, definitely yeah so F floppy you're saying you you've been with cadena like since 2020 and i know yeah. people I, i've known you in uh from from the from the telegram and and from discord probably as well uh you you mentioned it a little bit like you 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 had that on the on the top of your of your mind so but what, once you joined Cadena, were you already set on building something, or did you? No, so, no, no, no way. You just kind of came up to. Let the, me tell you. Let me tell you how I got into Cadena. So, <laughs> uh, I think this was the summer of Polkadot. Okay. So uh, I, th I think Polkadot started somewhere around May or something, or or, or some. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I was Polkadot was on Bitrex, and I was trading on Bitrex, and and. I think Polkadot started at like one or two dollars and I could sell it on Bitrex for 10. So I was like making a ton of money. And <laughs> after that, I jumped into Chainlink that was, that came back from, from $5 to $2. And then I wrote it up to 20 and I maybe I, I jumped out at 16 again. And I was like, damn, man, I'm, I'm, I'm on a high. I'm going to continue this, uh, this journey. And I saw this Cadena coming up on Bitrex. Oh, fuck this looks amazing what is this i said fuck it i'm going all in so i put everything in there i had no clue what it was and then it starts going down I'm like the fuck is this <laughs> <laughs> so we were we were at like 70 cents i think maybe 70 80 cents was the top I, I i think i got in before that at like 60 cents or something and i wrote it down to 10 cents i'm like all right i'm done I, 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 there's no way out anyway. What the fuck is Cadena? <laughs> <laughs> and that was, yeah, that's when I basically jumped in and I was like, when I, once I, I started reading about it and uh, figuring out what it's actually doing and can do, I was like blown away. I'm like, I'm golden. I'm not going to move anywhere for, for the next couple of years. And, and I'm, I'm just going to sit it out. But no, there was definitely no plan of, of building on, on Cadena. I was like building my own stuff things I want to build, I, I, I mean, you see like microscope and shit like that. I'm, I'm like, I, I'd like to see myself as some form of amateur inventor and, and I like to build stuff. I get ideas, I see a problem, I want to fix it, I build something and then that's it, I move on. And uh, I had no intention of doing that on Cadena until like six months later or, or seven, eight months later i'm like why is no one building on this why why isn't there a good wallet why why isn't anything being improved in in uh, user experience wise and uh that's when i started like okay maybe i could spend some time building something on cadena learn packed i joined some pack dev uh, group and and uh uh i think 
uh, someone challenged me to like, hey, listen, you want to do, uh, uh, we need a Visual Studio uh, uh, code uh, plugin. And someone was like, hey, Floppy, you can do that. I like, listen, and I never build a plugin. I, I can't do that. <laughs> yeah, 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 you can do that. Just just do it. I like, okay, I'm, I'm going to give it some serious thought over the weekend, read in on it. And I read in on it, and it, it was pretty easy, to actually, uh, the the beginning part. So I built, like, the plugin for Visual Studio Code. And I was like, okay, this is cool. And someone was saying, hey, listen, you can get a grant and get in contact with the team. And then I was like, hey, this is cool. I can, I can build something here and maybe have some, uh, some great ideas, maybe get more into software development instead of, like, doing all the different things I was doing. So that's, that, yeah, but that's basically my story. And it can be like okay. one and a half hour longer if you want to. But <laughs> <laughs> no, let's 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 get let's get to to this the shorter version. Radu, uh, yeah. you can can you kind of elaborate on your side and how you came together with with this with this uh, with with Floppy and how you you came to to meet him this way? Yeah, so I guess I had the same. Uh, I I I think I had the same um, frustration as he had. Like he, we were looking around and um, nobody was really building something like in a, in a serious way uh, at that point. Like this was, yeah, back in 2021. I mean, there were some, yeah, there was, there were a couple of projects. Um, there, there was Cadex there, um, I guess, early on. But yeah, besides that, there wasn't much being built. I mean, there were promises all around, but um, that, that was about it. And then we, yeah, um, both of us were like aware of um, how clunky everything is in terms of experience and then how um, difficult it is. Like we, both of us, we were like, okay, the tech is great. Um, and it does seem to do something that um, the other L1 chains uh, can't do. Um, but it's, yeah, it's pretty damn difficult to use um, if um, if you if you don't know your way around and if you don't uh, I don't know read a user guide or something like that and and, and try to understand things. Um, so that's kind of like where we started um, uh, from that um, from that um, um, frustration, I would say. Um, and then I yeah I took things a bit on my own, um, building something um, NFT related. But again, it was just by myself, and um, um, I did not get very far with that. Um, and uh, yeah, as Fluffy mentioned, uh, we we had some we had some uh, some technical discussions in one of our groups there, and um, yeah, some 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 chat going back and back and forth back and forth there between me and him. And then at some point, I I, I DM him, and I was like, hey. It seems like uh, it's, it seems like uh, we have a common ground here, and um, um, yeah, uh, what if what if we just work together on it? Um, sh we should move faster, right? So um, yeah, that's kind of like where we started, and then we um, yeah we we started working on the, on that marketplace, the NFT marketplace. Um, it was back when the NFT craze um, mm -hmm. was uh, was going on. I mean, I, I would say it's still going on, uh, but back then, yeah, it was just a uh, um, it, it, it was uh, really full on. Um, and even though there were wallets, I think, um, I think X wallet was already out there uh, when we were working on our marketplace. Um, but the thing is that um, we couldn't use it. And even today, um, um, it's missing a feature that is needed to uh, to be able to trade NFTs um, or NFTs that are created on Marmalade. Mm -hmm. um so that was a core uh core piece that we were missing um and then yeah he had a floor he had a wallet sitting around like partially floppy wallet. Wallet. <laughs> yeah flop, it, it was actually called floppy wallet so <laughs> he was <laughs> he, he was kind of like working on it like um in parallel while both of us were working on this marketplace and then um he was just yeah Putting things together on the on the wall side, like just minimum, the minimum that we needed to, um, you know, to be able to test our marketplace. That's kind of like how it was. And um, yeah, fast forward, um, fast forward, we um, 
we came, we came, we came to, to a point where we said, okay, uh, what makes the most sense to um, to launch right now? Um, and then, yeah, we said it, it should be the world uh, because without it, um, we do not have, I mean, we cannot build on top of it. Um, so yeah, that's kind of like we did, we decided to just move forward with the links. And yeah. so, so, so let me get one, one little extra detail there because Radu didn't want to launch the wallet at all because, <laughs> because it would put so much on our plate as like two <laughs> developers and, and building two products. It's like, it's like pretty insane though. And, uh, uh, there were a lot of promises that, that a lot of, uh, that other wallets were coming with the, the uh, it's called the, the continuation signing or, or Cadena quick sign and uh, make that a usable experience. And I'm like, we're not going to wait for that because maybe we need to wait for like a year and it's, it's, we, we're dead in the water and we see a lot of, especially at that time, a lot of NFT projects being like dead in the water because there was no way to move forward to, to have like trading enabled on your NFT marketplace. I'm like, we have to do this wallet first. It, it just, we just have to, and then let's, let's go from there. And so on that, on that point in time, we decided to, to put the wallet and forward. You started doing it, right? And let's 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 turn our, our focus to the Lynx wallet then. Um, so as 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 I was as you were guys were saying, you know, X wallet was already on the market. We have Koala now. Yeah. Uh, so and you decided to build a new one. So yeah. I understand that you felt the need, but how, now that you're making it like a, a marketable product, how do you how do you plan to stand out from from the competition? <laughs> So when we when when we started the wallet, um, I think the only one that was on the market it was X Wallet, and that's it. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was X Wallet, and yeah, then the one that, um, that that's built by by the core team, Chain Weaver. Um, and um, yeah, our our main frustration came that um, it was just too hard for for somebody to send tokens. Um, like you have to think, okay, where do I have to send them? Why do I have to pick? Um, what, why do I have to pick a number from um, from from zero to nineteen? Uh, what does this mean? And so on. Um, so that's kind of like um, that was our starting point, and then we were like, okay, we can do this. We can do this uh, much better than than that. Um, so we 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 put our focus on. Um, trying to hide away um, the chain's complexity as much as possible. It is not 100% hidden, but I would say we managed to hide um, quite a bit of it. Um, so yeah, we yeah we we, we thought that um, that would be that would be really useful and that would change things. Yeah, that would change also, things I don't, I don't, Sorry, we did we didn't build this with with competition in mind. That I mean. Uh, it's it's fair question, you know. How do you feel about Koala and X Wallet and and uh, uh, Chainweaver? I mean, at the time there was no talk of Koala. We we had no idea someone was building Koala. Um, but it was also not not our point. Our point was we need a trustworthy wallet where we can actually know when when a feature is there that we can actually use it, and we don't have to wait for it because mm -hmm. we don't. I like being dependent on others. We, I like to be in full control. And, and that's basically something that was like uh, a real, real decision maker on, on building this wallet. We want to be in control. We want to have control and we want to dominate user experience. And, and I think we're definitely nailing that because, uh, yeah, I, I think Raul especially did a great job there. Uh, and, uh, and, Raul, uh, you have and something you, to uh, add? It, it was quite an interesting ride. Uh, I joined around September, I think. And with not too much background in crypto, uh, when they talked about Cadena and explained everything and the chains, I was super confused. I was like, what's going on? Why do we have them? Why do I need to select one? Why do I, how does this work? And it, for me, it was super annoying. And I was like, I don't like this one. So. Maybe the tech is great, but visually it's super annoying because especially for me, I was new to it and I downloaded the wallet. It was like, okay, what's next? So I pretty much needed Floppy to teach me how to make a transfer. And I was like, 
this doesn't work. It's not super friendly. So <laughs> it adds a lot of friction. Like, the chains add a lot of friction for sure. Yeah. So user. then I, I was pretty much let's do like everyone does. You just enter a token, enter the amount, and send it. That's all you need to care about. Not the chains, how to, where they go, and so on. on. So that's why I think we started with a chainless approach. Just to make it super simple, uh, simple for everyone that joins uh, Cadena and yeah, wants and to the, trade. The, the, that the chainless is something. Chainless transactions is something the community has been crying for for a while, because it it's it really helps um, getting things uh, going <laughs> easily. Uh, the chains are, you know, the chain web is actually a great a great um, a great technical solution. But the, for the user, it's not it's not working, and so I, I commend you for, for for doing that. I think it's very important to get that uh, chainless uh, experience for the for the for the inexperienced user. It's it's vital, or you yeah. have people coming. Um, yeah. So, but you decided to go with some of these features, like the chainless uh, chainless transactions. You decided to to go with a, a paid a paid approach, right? So you you yeah. the user needs to pay a little bit to 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 get access to the to the better experience. Why did you decide to to do it this way? And aren't you afraid that this might you know turn people away uh, to the competition? So uh, uh, we didn't make it a paid feature. Let's let's put that up front. Uh, it's not like you can only access it if you pay for it. The the background is. We allow you to pay a fee in any token you are sending. And this is something that doesn't exist on Cadena. You always have to have Cadena to uh, send a transaction in what token, in what NFT, in, in whatever. You're, whatever you're doing, you need uh, KDA to pay for, the, uh, for registering the transaction on the blockchain. Mm -hmm. And we're saying we're going to cut that out. So if you're, say, if you're sending KDX, you basically pay your fee in KDX. If you're sending uh, any other token, you're basically paying that fee in that token you're sending. So there's no need to hold any KDA. But, uh, and that, that, that's a fair point from some within the community, uh, we charge actually 10 cents uh, a transaction while the actually gas cost, maybe in, in, a, in a very big chainless transaction where there are like, five, six, seven, eight transactions in the background uh, being committed, then I don't know, maybe maybe you're talking about one cent in, in actual gas fee. Mm -hmm. But um, we have to like make the, the, we have to pay the KDA gas. Yeah, yeah. And you can say, yeah, you can use a gas station or whatever. Sure. But let's not forget people shouldn't getting used to uh, uh, free transactions on a blockchain writing data, saving data somewhere costs money because there needs to be an incentive for people to save the data, to run notes, sure. to stuff like, I mean, just banking, it costs money. That's, that's something we shouldn't forget. And uh, the thing we're doing is like, we're, we're uh, uh, basically giving away so you can, you can pay in any token, your transaction fee, but we have to account for that transaction. So at the end of the year, uh, when the IRS comes around or someone is going to say, hey, listen, there's a cost uh, thing, there's a, uh, a profit thing, what happened? And we need to, well, we need to uh, account for all those transactions and make it worthwhile to actually do that for you. Mm. And we can do that for like 1,000 of, of, of a dollar. And I mean, 10 cents, even 10 cents, is no one is going, is going to get rich of that, trust me. I mean, you can see how many transactions a day are on Cadena even if we get like 100% of those, we can maybe make a couple of bucks. And then we still have to account for that at the IRS and with the accountant. And that I think we're probably still losing money, but that's not the point. The point is we want the experience to be at least uh, like as smooth as it can be and still like getting people used to writing data to, to a blockchain costs money. That's just the way it is. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, when Cadena is at twenty or fifty dollars, ten cents is people you will hear no one. Now it's like ten percent <laughs> of the coin value. I mean, I get it. I get it. It's it's unreasonable. It feels unreasonable. But 
once once we're at those numbers again, I, it's still going to be Ethereum, 10 cents. So I'm used to Ethereum. So exactly. It exactly. Like that ran reasonable to me. I, exactly. That's the whole point. It's just that the price doesn't uh, reflect like the value at the moment. Mm -hmm. So that's, but are, that's, aren't you that's the whole that, idea. That, aren't you afraid that that might be unsustainable? Like when KDA price starts rising, fees will be. No, I mean, 10 cents higher. is 10 cents. Even For, if it's like. I mean, don't, let's, don't let's, let's, that... let's put it this way. Right now, we're making probably nine cents on a transaction profit wise mm -hmm. if cadena goes to like 20 or 50 dollars that's going to be like seven cents or six cents yeah so even if it goes to like a thousand dollars we're making maybe one cent the whole thing is making a thousand of a, of a dollar so 0 0.0001 or one zero less uh that's that's not sustainable at all because accounting for that transaction costs at least double it costs mm -hmm. a couple of cents a transaction. And as long as we can make anything or break even on it, I'm fine. This this transaction fee is not a moneymaker, trust me. <laughs> it's, it's not. But um, I mean, so far within Cadena, everybody's used to wallets doing everything for free. Having like a gas station, not charging mm -hmm. anything. In my opinion, it's not sustainable. If you want a wallet, that wallet needs to have a business model or they're going to be out of business at some point. Because you can have 15 people working on a wallet without without a business model and, and maybe like a small grant somewhere. That's impossible. A grant is like great for, for starting, but it's not you need funding. Sure. And, and you I, can't you is, can't fund forever at zero. Uh, do you have any other revenue plans uh for 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 the wallet or is that is this like the, the base you're 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 setting up? Uh, maybe Radu can take this one. I don't want to talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no. We, we, yeah, we do have several, several, um, several venues to um, to get revenue from from this world. Uh, I mean, so far the let's say traditional traditional ways that worlds have been have been making money has been um, essentially fees from from everything that they could they could they could, they could charge some fees on, mm -hmm. um, and yeah, the most popular one has been um, fees from um, swapping tokens. Um, I think MetaMask was the one that um, initially released that feature mm -hmm. and it was definitely a, a killer feature for, for them um, during 2020, 2021. Um, yeah, just letting users swap instead of going to, to Uniswap, mm -hmm. um, having to open your browser and um, um, yeah, using the um, using the browser extension wallet and everything there, and um, yeah, in general, people are lazy, you know. <laughs> and if there's something that um, if there's something that's just um, a lot easier to do and with a lot yeah. less steps, they, they will do it, yeah, and I, they will not yeah. think that much. <laughs> I can see people thinking, oh, this this saves me so much trouble for ten cents. I don't care. I'll just do it, right? Yeah, exactly. So I, 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 I yeah. can see that. I can totally see that. Um, yeah. yeah. About the wallet, you've decided to go mobile only. Um, yeah. Are you planning on, on moving on to a web extension or an, a dedicated app in the future? So let me just say why we went mobile first. Um, or at the moment, I would say mobile only. Um, crypto wallets, um, or I, I would say the most Popular crypto wallets, um, I think maybe today um, are still web extensions, which for me it's still a mystery. Um, because if, if you think about it, um, like the average user does not know what a web extension is, right? Like I'm not sure if you. Uh, I think for 90% of the people, maybe even more, that um, that are using right now a web extension as a wallet, I think they even had no idea what it is before they joined crypto. I think mm -hmm. they, they joined crypto and they found out what is a web extension, even though there are a lot of other web extensions. Or there might be, there, there might be, there might be uh, okay, developers, there might be um, uh, UX designers. So in, in general, people that develop and build things, they might use some kind of extensions in their day-to-day -day work. But besides them, everyone else has no idea what the, what the browser extension is. Except for and adlocks. <laughs> Except for adblocks. Everyone yeah. has adblocks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but again, it's just one 
one more thing that you have to 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 learn and then um yeah it's it's just another hurdle uh towards towards adoption while um while everyone is used to um to sending money from their phone using their mobile banking app um scanning the qr code to to pay for something and, and things like that so those are like um without without knowing anything about crypto like those are already things that people are very familiar with and mm -hmm. like know how to do and all that so um i would say it should be the same when it comes to when it comes to interacting with um with blockchains like you should just be able to grab your phone um scan a qr code um approve a transaction and um and that's it um instead of like having to open your your laptop click on that browser extension there Type your password, um, connect the yeah, wallet to the website. Too much, too much of a hassle. Yeah, too much. Yeah, of a it also, is. Yeah, mobile gives you a much larger audience. I think like everyone has a mobile phone today. Exactly. Even yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Yeah. Uh, underdeveloped countries, everyone has a, a mobile phone. They might not have a laptop, totally. but they have a, a mobile phone for sure. So it, it kind of. Yeah, I had some. Uh, I had some discussions early on with with uh, like a chain weaver developer and. I'm like, listen, man, we need mobile. He's like, no, man, we're not going to do mobile. So why not? Everyone is on mobile. Yeah, but not in crypto. We're not going to do mobile. I said, we need mobile. If we want to have users, we need mobile right now. Of course. Of yeah, course, but mobile's that's... hard. Mobile's not hard. <laughs> yeah, mobile's hard. I like, fuck that. Mobile's not hard. Let's build uh, something. It depends. It depends on your background, right? What, what you're used to building and what, you, what you're, what's your um, experience. But yeah, but um, yeah, good, good that, maybe. You, that you. I mean, design. mobile's not easy, but, but, but anything yeah i mean development on its own is hard let's let's put it just that way and, yeah. and so it. let's <laughs> let's move on to one of the integrations you guys are doing with one of one of the best projects in Kadena, yeah <laughs> which is katie launch so can you guys give us a little briefing on what the integration entails and what what you think of it yeah raul you're full into it now <clears throat> Uh, I am actually, uh, I actually started, uh, drafting some ideas right now, how we can integrate it, how we can make it work and maybe even, uh, spice it up a little more and adding some extra features to it. Uh, but I feel like I'm, don't want to say too much about it right ah, now. No alpha. No <laughs> alpha we, 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 we have to wait at least till Friday. Better. Two more <laughs> okay. days. Okay. Okay. I mean, I'm, so I'll, I'll, I'll edit. Links. I'll edit some some snippets on Friday. I'll I'll yeah. ask you on Friday and I'll edit to the to the interview. <laughs> yeah. But are, are you? Yeah. yeah. Are you planning on on any any other integrations? Because I think a wallet kind of lives and dies with integrations. You know, so you have a wallet, but the yeah. more things you add to it, like people will be drawn to it. If you can do anything in a wallet, like you can trade, you can go to lending, you can use your launchpad, then you go to the wallet and you, you just keep using it. Have you planned on any other integrations? Yes. I mean, I think Radu uh, maybe can continue it, but uh, we see links as, as like, it's a stepping stone and it's, it's, uh, it's all in one. It should be like any new user that comes onto links should be able to do everything within the blockchain within the app without having to leave the app so oh, that's nice that's a nice yes. that's a nice thought so that's it's kind of ecosystem tool right you want to use Kadena, yeah. you go to links and you just you do yeah. everything that's that's cool yeah that's a cool thought i hope you guys can can achieve that uh and going back to thin edge lab so now you have the wallet i heard about the nft marketplace so i'm guessing that might be the next <laughs> the next step uh, are you planning on anything else, uh, or are you going? Well, for now, you're going with these two, and then you, you'll see what's what's coming out. Oh, I'll, I'll talk a bit about this one. Um, yeah, so actually, our our vision is a bit larger than um, than the world itself. Um, as Flo said, we want the world to be um, to be the app that you use to um, to interact with um, the most popular and trusted protocols um, that are on 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 Kadena and 
you don't have to use the the website or anything you just have it there and um yeah if you want to to borrow if you want to lend and so on or other use cases it's gonna be um it's gonna that, that will pop up on um um we will add them um, as we see fit, and uh, as as our user base um, as our user base will will provide us feedback. So that that's the world itself. Um, now, when it comes to the marketplace, yeah, we had some we had some discussions, um, and we are still let's say we are still um, debating internally about about that, like what will be the best way to to move forward there. But essentially, our our vision is that. Um, we want to build something um, using NFTs, or maybe better said, for NFTs. And we started, yes, with the NFT marketplace, but at the same time, we believe that um, today, um, even though the most popular use case for NFTs is still profile pictures, like yeah, you have some, you have some other use cases, like um, like there are some 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 vaults where they use. Um, where they use some some NFT um, standards as tokens um, and maybe a few others, but the main the main use case it is still the uh, profile picture, and I think that um, I think um, a, a huge contributing factor to that is that you uh, that it's quite hard to let's say experiment with the with with NFTs. Like if you would try to to um, to use an NFT for something else, um, like some people have been using NFTs for um, for getting access to some um, to some features on, on a website on an app. So essentially, using them as a um, as a, as a payment gateway, um, as a payment wall. Um, and there's there's other use cases, um, but it's it's pretty damn hard to um, to to at least experiment um, and after experiment actually integrate them in. In your own in your own platform, which is most likely a website or an app or um, whatever whatever you have, right? So we are kind of like putting together a concept that would um, that will allow you to um, to to create NFTs um, and to integrate them in your in your existing platform um, a lot easier than it is right now. Um, and we believe that that's gonna that's gonna allow people to experiment with NFTs, and we believe that's gonna that's gonna allow people to to find use cases that we are not thinking about right now, um, and kind of like move move a bit further away than profile pictures, which are great. I mean, they've made NFTs super popular, but mm -hmm. I think there's a lot more that can be done than, yeah, than just that, that, uh, having profile pictures. Yeah, there's a lot more to NFTs than than PFPs. I I, I I totally agree with you and believe that for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, yeah. I can add a little bit, uh, add a little bit to that. Um, sure. I mean, the for the for the NFT marketplace, we have all the infrastructure in place. We have, yeah, we we price, we basically have everything ready to to do one. But um, I think it's going to be in links for now. So we're we're going to implement that in links, and uh, we're going to implement a lot of stuff in links. So that that will keep us busy. And what Radu was talking about is we like to like to call it the pool layer proof of ownership. Uh, and uh, that yeah, that's that that's something we're basically just uh, writing out and and expanding the ideas and and uh, really come to like a, a plan of attack. But that's. We also have to be realistic. That's not something we can do with just the two of us. I mean, that that's going to take like two years, and that's not that's not the, the we don't have that time. I mean, that's that's just crazy talk. So we definitely need need funding to get to that level and and get people on board, actually good developers to expand, and and then we can build something amazing. But yeah, we 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 really need support. So. Yeah, if there's anyone think... out there that really wants to fund this, <laughs> it, it, hit me up. <laughs> I, I'm I'm pretty sure when you guys release your your wallet and if and if if it's good and it it works, I'm sure people will, will follow you and flock around you, and you you'll have no problems uh, finding funding for sure. So I mean, yeah, maybe in a better market than this one. And actually, course, to wrap yeah. to wrap this up, I I wanted to talk about the market and how you know 
uh, these conditions are clearly not the best. Uh, they were worse a few weeks ago, so it might turn up uh, better than expected. But does the market affect how you develop, how your development goes? Or are you just, you know, we're, we're building, we don't care about the market, and eventually it will pick up, yeah. so we don't care. How do you feel about it? Yeah. Exactly what you said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Nothing it hasn't been. I mean, it has personal implications how the market is, but it doesn't. It doesn't matter how we how we do our business. I mean, we made a plan, and we're sticking to that plan, and it, it's yeah. irrelevant of market conditions. Okay, good. To it's, hear, and that's... it's also, let's be honest, it's also still something that's needed. We we really need the uh, we really need a leap forward in user experience to bring Cadena to the masses because else it trust me it's not going to happen. People yeah. are not going to come in at at at, at Chainweave. I'm sorry, a Chainweave is great. I love it as a developer, but oh, it's not for the it, user. I'm a user. No, it's okay. horrible for a, for a general user. Yeah. Let's be honest. It's horrible. It's not. It's and, not good and, for, for the public. Yeah, and a lot of experiences. On all, on most of the depths I've seen, and I don't want to be disrespectful to people. And Rodu always told me that once you say that, you're actually being disrespectful. So, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, come on, man, we can do so much better than than logging into an to a depth and and saying you don't have any balance on chain two. <laughs> no, no, can't log in. You don't have any balance on chain two. I fuck off, man. Come on, we you you can do better than that. Yeah, and it's I'm just and- too bad. And what it pisses I, me off. I'm sorry. What I'm happy to see is like, <laughs> what I'm happy to see is like people like you and, and the other projects that are now coming on, online and starting to develop. And I see a lot more of this, you know, um, building experience and not just, you know, we want to we wanna release an app and, and raise money for a token. And that's that's good because I, I think people who are building now are really, really want to build something good and not just get paid for it, you know. Which, which happens a lot in bull markets, but now in bear markets, you see a lot of real developers coming in. And it's good that they're coming in before the ramp up of the market. So eventually when good people are start are building here and you have your wallet done, you know, other projects have, have developed something and it's online. Even if there's not a lot of people using it, once the bull market comes, people will notice. And if the, if the tools are good, I think people will flock around Cadena because it has a, an amazing use case, an amazing narrative. And, you know, yeah. the tech is great. As you said, it's what pulled most of us to it. And so if the tech is good and the apps built on it are also good, then I think there's no no way we we, we, we fail, right, um, as an ecosystem. Yeah. Uh, okay, guys, thanks a lot for, for joining me and, you know, letting people know about, uh, about Thin Edge Labs and about the Lynx wallet. And, you know, anytime you have something new to... To say, uh, let's meet again. We can do uh, an AMA on Twitter. We can do another episode if you'd like. Uh, just Absolutely. just so people can follow you, let us let them know where you where they can, you know, go to see development and go to talk to you. We will add the links on the description, so it should be okay. But you can just uh, you can just let people know where where to find you. Yeah. So on yeah, so- Twitter we we have <laughs> we have the links for accounts. Like we usually post post updates there, and we also have our medium page where we post an article every Friday. Um, we've okay. been doing that for quite some time now, so I would say those are the two main sources where you can Twitter and keep medium, in touch right? with us. Yeah, yeah. So we Twitter also have links wallet and medium.com slash links wallet, and of course okay, the yeah. website linkswallet.xyz. And okay. you can always hit me up on Telegram if you really want to. So. <laughs> I'm all, okay. I'm 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 always approachable, so that's fine. Okay, awesome to hear. Thanks, guys, again, and for everyone. Thank listening, you for having thanks. us. Thank you. Of Thank course, you. of course, guys. Uh, for everyone listening, thanks for joining us for uh, listening to what these guys had to say, uh, and for any project wanting to launch on Cadena, hit us up. Uh, we have our apl- uh, applications open, and we'll be back with some other cool guests soon. See you guys. Do not wait. Do not wait for the bull market. Is exactly. Do not wait. Launch now. (laughs) See you guys. Yeah. All right. Bye. 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 Bye.